Okay guys, so in this video we're going to go through a spiral mobilisation technique in supine. So Glenn, how would we do that one? So I like supine position for a lot of my cervical modes. Um, so classically I was taught in prone and we'll go through that as well. And I think sometimes prone is beneficial because you can identify the levels a little bit more easily. But supine I, I, I prefer personally because a, you can see your client's face, so you can see what reaction they're having to the treatment, and I just like the handling a little bit, a little bit more. It also ties in with a lot of um, follow-up techniques that I'll do when we start to add movement. So if we're doing modes, but then we're adding lateral flexions or rotations, I think the handling's a little bit better in this position, and actually it's impossible in prone. So uh, nice to practice this, but um, we'll go through prone also. So Ben's in supine here. I'm going to start from um, the upper cervical spine. So as I roll my fingers off of his occiput, I'm going to be sitting on C2. Okay, so I can start by just having a feel for his neck, um, unilateral mobs on each side, left and right. And what I do, I do a more general examination at first, just to get a feel of his neck, come down into more mid cervical spine, and I'm applying a pressure on the left and the right here, and just seeing does one side feel more restricted than the other, is one side more painful than the other, is one side tender, also getting a feel of the um, paraspinal muscles, are there more tension on one side over the other as well. Once I've gone through that now, I'm coming more into lower cervical spine, um, approaching upper thoracic. Once I've got into this position, I can then focus on the areas that caught my attention a little bit more. Okay, so if, for example, Ben had a bit more restriction on his right hand side and his mid cervical spine, I can go through our normal grading system here. Yeah, so I'm applying a, a PA pressure onto there and if, you, if you're trained in maintenance you can grade it accordingly to that and then if I want to focus on that as a treatment my positioning will change slightly because remember what we said about the orientation of the facet joints being um, aligned more up towards his eyes in this position so I'd come round to the side and then my my pressure will change you know, so if I'm doing this as a treatment I'll come into the side elbow tucked into the side of my hip and then I'm, I can just turn my body to create a nice AP a nice PA sorry, in this position. You can also apply APs here as well, so a little bit tender around the scalenes and the sternocleidomastoids sometimes, but you can go just slightly in front of them in the upper cervical spine, and then you can move them out the way and just come slightly behind them in the mid to lower cervical spine and just put a little bit of pressure down through there. Sometimes get a little bit more information from the APs that you don't get from the PA, particularly if they've got a, a, a pronounced cervical lordosis, you know, so you can apply a little bit of an AP in that mid cervical position to um, help with that. And from here, as we said, you can add in movements as well. So uh, I'll go through that in another video essentially, but if you just have a practice of your um, PAs in this position, get a nice um, overview of the cervical spine and then work on some uh, PA mobs. So again, if I'm doing the left side, I'll show you from the different angle. I'm going to find the area that I feel is stiff and then I'm going to come round here, elbow tucked into the hip, and I'm just rotating my body up on that 45 degree angle to mobilise the facet joint there. So that's how I would um, do PA modes and AP modes on the cervical spine in supine. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, then uh, please give us a like and uh, subscribe by clicking up here. Also don't forget to go over to strengthphysio.com and check out our members area, which has basically got our full library of all of our videos. You can get there by going to strengthphysio.com forward slash members. Hopefully I'll see you on the site and I'll talk to you all soon.